Blessed day, the blessed day, beloved. Thank you for tuning in again. Thank you for being loyal. Thank you for keep on supporting. I know for a fact that only subscribers are watching these videos. As we call them, the secret code of African spirituality. As I've said in the annals, we are starting with the first code. We call it the AP code, H-A-P-I, or the NAR code. This code is applicable to people who were born in the following dates. I want you to listen carefully. This code is applicable to people who are born in the month of January from January 1 to January 7. And people are born from June 19 to June 28. People are born September 1 to September 7. And people are born from November 18 to 26th of November. I'm repeating. Those in January that this specific code are applicable to are people are born in the month of January from the 1st to the 7th. When you go to those who were born in the month of June, is people who are born from the 19th of June to the 28th of June. And people who are born in September, they are is people who are born from the 1st of September to the 7th of September. And people of November, which this code is applicable to, are people who are born from the 18th of November to the 26th of November. Why this specific date? Because that are in ancient spirituality, our ancestors have through their energy. So what is the Epi code? Epi is the god of the Nile. Remember, the Nile was the main source of the ancient Kemetic water supply. When Epi was flooding the Nile, the land of the living who has been supplied with enough bank of water to grow their crops and to bring prosperity in the land. So basically, if you are one of the people born during the date that I've said, and you always ask yourself, who are you, where you belong? You belong to the epic code of the Nile. So you draw your energy, you draw your power, you draw your forces in the energy of the river, the water, the ocean, the sea. People who belong to this category, they are the people, even when they are gifted, they use more the power of water to bless others. If you are born throughout this date and you still have confusion in your life as to who you are, identify yourself that you are happy or in short words, denial. So every spirit that is waking there, every spirit that is positive for your success will connect with you. You can do your own incantation. You can request to apply the code. So what are the characteristics that uh, surround people, <coughs> excuse me, of this code? Because it's important that you understand them. It's important that you identify them because these kind of people, they can be your children, they can be your partner, they can be your friend, they can be your siblings. And you might not know how to handle them or to understand. That's why I'm giving this code so that you, if you're the concerned person, you will be able to understand yourself. And you, if you are living with this, uh, uh, the person who's following under this characteristic, you'll be able to understand them as well. So now, what we're gonna notice according to the 
ancient wisdom. The ancient truth don't turn like that. People of this court. So people, because it's written that, in early belief that, people were born under this sun are logical, are peaceful, and practical. They don't like argument, and they do everything to keep peace around them. Although they are sometimes influenced by their passion, they are still a wise and they are passionate. They are strong observer which help them develop intuitions. <clears throat> so basically in this code, who are we dealing with? We're dealing with people are peaceful because that is water. But the same water that is peaceful can drown you if you're negligent, if you provoke it. People are logical. By the word logical, there are people who commit to a certain line of conduct which they stick to. And they might be misled but they end up taking a fair decision. So these people, they are peaceful, as I said, like water. Water play a major role in our life beyond even peace. And they have been practical, realistic of the situation which they might be going to or people around them are going to. And when they say they are sometimes influenced by their passion, that is the weakness of humanity. People are not as spiritual and lighted. They are too much affected by their emotions, their passions. And that always misleads different kinds of people in all spheres of life, in all levels of life. So now, if you are living with someone like this, you shall understand them and assist them. And if you belong to this category of people during these days, then you know that during your incantation, even in your altar, bring up the symbolizing of the, the symbol of happy or of the night in your altar. Try to connect your energy there. Those of you still have questions, you are allowed to ask me. You are allowed to contact for more guidance. You need now to seek the homeland connection. Your homeland is through the water. You don't need now to travel to go in Egypt, or in Ethiopia, Sudan, to, to see the Nile today. The power of the Nile is in the water that is near you. we can still utilize it as a channel, as a vessel of connection with your original identity. So now within this code, how it's gonna benefit you? You need to be able not to develop incantation and energy, which whomever who's gonna be fighting you, whomever who's gonna be attacking you, or whatever challenge that you're gonna encounter, you call up upon the power of the water, the power of the Nile, to flood that thing's heart. Because you belong there, it's going to work for you quicker than somebody who doesn't belong there. Your identification and your rituals, your incantations, need to be channeled and customized based on this energy. If you are of African descendants or origin. By African descendants and origin, I mean people who will belong and still belong to the African continent. You find the current Asia was also part of Africa. That is another topic. 
So once you identify yourself as an African, it doesn't matter your skin color. As long as you're non-European, because you know European, they are not Africans, they are Europeans. But if you are an European of African history descendancy, it's fine. You connect that energy and start applying it in your daily life. It be your career, your relationship, your, your studies, your, your ministry. You can be watching me, you are a spiritual leader. You can be watching me, you are a religious leader. And at the time you don't understand why your ministry does not go further is because you do not apply the spiritual code. That's why it is important now that you join Kemetis to start learning more. And this is still the beginning. I'm expecting to get now specific and deeper question over this. I'm expecting you to want to learn more about your category. And this is a AP category, H-A-P-I, or denial category denial code. With this code, it's going to enable you to unlock a lot of things. It's going to help enable you to, to establish strong connection with the spirit under the water to even ensure that your protection, your identifications, your self-development, your mission and purpose from the creator for this reincarnation will be fulfilled. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to share with those who are awakened and enlightened so that they get the truth of their code. Let me turn the second code. Thank you. See you on the next one. Remain blessed.